okay so functional location so we'll be starting our uh, new topic functional location the topics we are going to cover in functional location they are we'll see what is functional location what is the purpose of creating the functional location how the structure indicator will work during functional location creation then we'll, the system will see how to create change and display the functional location and how to see the list entry of functional locations what is reference functional location we'll see that and we'll see alternate labeling of functional location and also we'll see configuration of functional location so these are the topics we'll be covering in functional location okay so basically what is functional location okay so the business object functional location is an organization unit within logistics that structures the maintenance objects of a company according to functional process related or spatial criteria so basically functional location is a location where your all your equipments or all your machine machinery are installed okay so that is called functional location you your equipments are located the, at this particular location that is called functional location so basically functional location represents the place where you all your maintenance tasks are executed for your equipment that is what called functional location this is what a functional location represents system area it's a system area at which an object can be installed that object can be anything your equipment basically okay objects that can be installed at functional locations are called pieces of equipment so basically your machines are installed at your functional location okay so basically uh, how the why the for, for what purpose the functional locations are created so functional locations are created for these purposes one is execution of your maintenance tasks recording of your maintenance tasks data collection over longer period of time like i want to see my maintenance tasks done for a particular period for a particular place or for a particular location those to track that you will be using functional location and then your cost monitoring by area by area wise i want to do i want to see my plan maintenance costs okay so and what are the uh, usage conditions that they have the effect on your plan maintenance activities so to monitor all these things you will be creating the functional location this is the criteria basically okay so now uh, what data you will be maintaining in the functional location so normally in the functional location you will be maintaining some general data we'll say it in the system you will maintain some location data that means where this functional location is located and some organization related data okay and some structure related data these are the data you will be maintaining and this in this data you will be maintaining all this data basically okay so this is the data you will be maintaining in the functional location we will see it in the system okay so now before going into the functional location we need to understand structure indicator so whenever you are creating a functional location you will be assigning a label to it that is called structure location structure indicator okay so functional locations are created using structure indicator okay so this structure indicator will contain coding template and hierarchy levels okay let's i'll give you a small example let's go with our uh, uh, let's say uh, we'll take our yesterday's example let's say i'm working for toyota company okay toyota automobiles okay this is my company okay so this is my company in this i have a unit i have a plant okay unit 1 or let me put it as unit 1 okay now under this i have a production department under unit 1 i have a production department here under this i have a sharing machine sharing machine so this is my hierarchy basically so toyota automobiles i have okay automobiles i have in that i have a unit 1 okay unit 1 is a plant okay and this is the production department and in this production department this is the location so this is called the structure indicator okay now while creating a structure indicator so now here you will use these ones xxx 4x okay hyphen xx n okay xxx and xxx x n n so here 
the x means both alpha numeric allowed suppose if you see the structure indicator so that is a coding template this is a coding template this is the coding template means coding template is used to control which characters may be used when a label is assigned okay when a label is assigned and how these characters are grouped together or split that is what called coding template so this is what the coding template here okay now the next one is the hierarchy levels use it to define which level ends at which character and how many hierarchy levels the structure may contain okay so now here how many hierarchy levels we have one two three four here there are four hierarchy levels okay so this is the hierarchy level system so if you see here you will be able to understand this is the one this is the one okay so here this is your coding template this is your coding template and this is your hierarchy levels okay so how many levels we have here six levels we have now here a means only alphabetical server okay now n means only numeric server numbers are allowed, like 1 2 3 4 now x means both are allowed alpha numeric this is what so this is the structure indicator this is also called as edit mask and these are the hierarchy levels hierarchy 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 total hierarchy levels are 6 okay so in the real time you study your business and based on their design you will be defining the structure indicator okay so here you will have coding template and you have the hierarchy levels so a typical uh, functional location hierarchy will be like this it is like this okay so now let's see it in the system now let's create the first we'll create a new structure indicator in the configuration and then using that we'll be start creating the functional location okay i'll log on to the system okay so okay so now let's start creating it so i'll go to the configuration we'll create a first new structure indicator for our our scenario go to spro go to sap reference img okay go to plant maintenance go to plant maintenance and customer service go here Okay, now go to master data in plan maintenance and customer service. Go here, go to basic settings or go to technical objects, functional location, go to functional location. Okay, here you are able to see create structure indicator for reference locations or functional location. You go here, you click on that. Okay, so now I will already we have a lot of functional locations are there. I'll create a new one. Okay, so click on the button new entries. So I'll give I need to give a co uh, code to the structure indicator. Let's I'll create Toyota TAUT TAU01. Let's say Toyota Automobiles 01. Okay, so I'll write that name Toyota Automobiles. limited okay so this is my structure indicator text now here you will enter the edit mask that means this one edit mask so i'll have i want to have the, my structure indicator in this in this format okay so you enter that one x x x x this is the first one okay now split it next next level i want to have next level i have i want to have this one x x n okay so put xxn okay continue next one next level what i want to have four digits for alphanumeric okay x x x x next one i want to have one two three four x and last two should be numeric okay so put one two three four numeric. that means this xxx means both alphanumeric are allowed now i am here i am creating four levels so now here you have to enter the hierarchy levels always hierarchy level is entered at the last digit of that level so here one now this is two now this is level three now this is level four this is how you create a hierarchy structure structure indicator i am creating so this is i am replicating basically 
okay always remember x means both are allowed alpha numeric are allowed while creating n means only numeric is allowed okay so that's how it work alpha alpha n means numeric x means both alpha numeric are allowed so this is the structure indicator i am creating now save it okay i'll create a new transport request whenever you are doing configuration it will ask you for a transport request okay so pm new structure indicator structure indicator indicator for for toyota toyota okay so this is a description save it it will give a number to it transport request continue so this is how you create a structure indicator okay now using this we will be creating this is a configuration part this is a configuration part now using this we will be creating the structure indicator we will be creating the functional locations okay a typical functional location will be will be like this you will have a hierarchy kind of thing you will have a hierarchy kind of thing see this is the first hierarchy under that you have two okay under that you have third hierarchy next hierarchy like this you can have the hierarchy levels okay now i'll start creating it a function location our own function location will create okay now the transaction code will be il01 il01 if you know the transaction code you can go to directly il01 or you can go through the navigation path i'll show you that go to logistics plan maintenance management of technical objects functional location create il01 okay double click on it here you will be getting so first level i will create okay my what is my structure indicator my structure indicator just now we created it is toyota automobiles limit this is what tau01 okay so enter your structure indicator here okay now what is the first level in my structure indicator it is four digits so i'll create toyota automobiles taut four alpha numeric is allowed okay my functional location category is m this will discuss later when we go to the configuration by default as of now take it as m technical system standard okay take it now you enter now it will take it discuss suppose if you enter i am not saving this suppose if you enter here like this if you enter like taut1 now it will throw the error because whatever the naming convention you are giving here it is not according to the edit mask it will throw the error see it is throwing the error functional location label must not end with a separator that means here you are having entering one digit extra than the standard template you create that is why you are getting the error okay so taut i am creating enter give a description here toyota Toyota automobiles Toyota automobiles limited this is the one i am creating object type object type at this stage don't enter any object type authorization group you enter who is authorized to use this that is maintenance enter that one at this level this acquisition value manufacturer are not required because this is we are creating at almost as a plant okay so don't enter anything here start up date you enter 13 12 2016 enter now go to the location this is located in the plant 1000 yesterday we discussed maintenance plant planning plant all those things we discussed now you enter your location some locations are there let's say this is in the hyderabad location enter hyderabad okay and the work center this work center is for pp module so don't enter any work center abc indicator at this stage this is a plant so abc indicator is a risk factor involved if this functional location is not working then what risk factor we will be facing so that you can enter as of now i am entering it as 4 okay enter done go to organization so here business area i'll enter as 3000 or you can select from the list 3000 is automotive business so automotive i am entering now cost center all the cost all the all the whatever the plan maintenance activity you do 
all those costs you want to settle it to a cost center which is which collects the cost that cost center you can enter okay i'll take one of the cost center which is already there in the system okay i'll enter one of the cost center which is already there in the system plant maintenance lot of cost centers are there I will use this plan maintenance four three double zero. Okay, that is a cost center. Enter. Now you enter your planner group. Yesterday we discussed the planner group. Okay, the one we created yesterday. What was the planner group we created? Okay, I'll, I'll select this one as of now. Or mechanical engineer. Okay, so we created yesterday work center. That work center you enter, okay, and enter your enter planning plant, okay. Now catalog profile will please, okay. Catalog profile we'll be discussing in the later classes, okay. So when we go to the catalogs, we have a separate topic. That time we'll be discussing what is catalog profile, okay. So now we assigned the work center yesterday. We created planner group and planning plant. That means here plant. Your your plant and planning plant both are same here. If you go to location, your maintenance plant and your planning plant both are same here. Okay. Now go to the structure. Okay. Here you don't have your structure indicator has come that we have given the initial screen. Now here this is the superior functional location. Now this is the first level. This is the superior most functional location. That is why you don't enter anything over here. And my position is one. Enter. Okay, now equipment installation allowed means for this functional location you can assign the equipments here. Tomorrow class we will be seeing that, and if you want to assign only one equipment to this functional location, you do activate this one. Single installation that means only one equipment is allowed to assign to this functional location. Okay, as of now I I want to have I want to do multiple equipments installation, so I am deactivating this one. Okay, yes. construction type we'll discuss tomorrow when we go to the equipment. This thing. So once you enter all that, go to partners. Okay, uh, partners will be discussing partner functions. We'll discuss in tomorrow when we go to the what is it equipment level. Okay, and if you want to assign any documents, you can assign the documents here. This is document management system. Okay, if your document management system module is there, from there you can assign some document over here. Okay, this is not mandatory; it is optional. Okay, so once all the data is maintained. All the data is maintained. You save the function location. Okay, so your function location is created. Okay, now what is my next level? Unit one. Okay, so unit one. Now I'll create next level. So enter UT one. Unit one. UT one. So here next level. What is the coding format? Double X N. That means you should have only three digits. Okay. Now enter. You go here. Unit one. Unit one. I am entering. Okay. Now if you observe. All the data from the superior functional location got copied over here automatically. Are you able to see? Authorization group has come, startup date has come. If you go to the location, all the data has come. Organization, everything got copied from the superior functional location. Okay. Now go to structure. Here now, if you see the superior functional location has come. Okay. Now here, what is the position? Two. We are at hierarchy level two. So you enter the position two. Enter. Done. You save it. Now, what is my next level? Next level is a department production. So now we'll create functional location. Next one is PROD. Okay. Enter. Now it is let's say department of production. And enter. Enter. Now you see all the data got copied again from the superior functional location. And now here, if you go, what is the superior functional location for this PROD? It is the 
unit one toyota automobiles unit one now what is the position three eight okay <coughs> okay so now i am saving this now i'll create unit two unit two okay enter it is unit two you need to enter done save now under the unit one i'll create next level of functional location prod prod my next one is let's i'll create shearing machine okay shm put shm c01 so this this should be the coding template see 4x followed by two numerics so that's why shmc01 enter okay so that c i'll put it as cnc shearing machine 120 let's say this is my uh, next function location enter here you can enter the object type so this is one kind of a machine kind of thing okay here i am creating a, uh, one uh, total equipment as a function location so here you can enter the object type if you go here sharing machine is there cnc machine let me search cnc no, it is not there huh? okay let us create in the configuration wait let me go to the configuration object type define types of technical objects you go here i'll create a new one how many are there 10 till 1008 are there i'll create a new one 1009 1009 cnc and machine okay so this is one object type i am creating basically this object type is nothing but a sub classification of your functional location or equipments that is object type so i created it now let's go to functional location now we'll say that will be showing in the system 1009 cnc machine okay enter that one go to location all data has come location now go to organization all data has come structure now this is the functional superior functional location to this one now here the position is 4 enter okay now all done now you see it so this is how we will be creating the entire hierarchy okay now the will i'll create one more functional location in the production department i'll create power press p r e let's say yes 01 okay enter okay let's say this is 120 ton power press enter now here you create object uh, assign the object type power press is there let us check yes power press is not there okay we will create one more 1010 power press okay i created one more object type okay now let me assign that one 1010 power press enter go to location okay all data got copied organization you go here data has come structure okay now the position is four okay so this is how you create the functional location structure now i will create uh, one more uh, department i am basically creating entire hierarchy utility utly enter department of utility department of utility enter location here it is it is it is a department so there is no object type location all data has come organization okay structure partner all data has come here the what is the level position 3 enter save it now under the utility department i have a location called diesel generator let's say dge01 okay enter and 150 let's say i'll put 500 kva diesel generator enter 
object type generator generator will be there in my opinion generator diesel generator object type is there enter enter location all data has come organization even you can enter the uh, location or plant section also you can enter if you want okay plant section that also you can enter organization okay structure now it is position okay so this is how i created the entire structure one of this kind of hierarchy i created this kind of hierarchy i created now this entire hierarchy you can see it one shot that is through transaction ih01 you go to ih01 ih01 enter okay now you enter your initial functional location top most functional location okay enter that one now you click on execute so this is the functional locations we created now if you see under the toyota unit you have two units unit one unit two okay now under the unit one we created some more levels that is why it is showing but whereas in the unit two we have not created any 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 sub levels sub functional location that is why it is not showing okay now under the production we created two functional location under the utility we created two functional location so this is how it will show if you want to expand it one shot you can do that also again you go inside here i want to see all i want to expand it at one shot you click on the button expand whole entire functional location structure will get expanded okay so this is how you see the structure lit at one shot structures list this is the one this is the one. you can see the entire structure list at one shot okay so this is how you do okay now after some time my functional location got changed my functional location got changed let's say uh, alternate labeling which is called alternate labeling so means here i have a functional location let's say my initial functional location is let's say this is the one which one CN, cnc sharing machine 120 ton this i want to replace with a new functional location let's say milling machine so you have to do alternate labeling so how to do go to change mode go to change mode so what is your functional location taut unit 1 ut1 hyphen production prod hyphen and then shmc01 shmc01 so this is my functional location now after some time they they are removing this functional location and they are replacing with a new functional location so that time you will go for alternate labeling so the existing functional location will be replaced by a new functional location okay so this is a one functional location now i am replacing with a new one i am replacing a new one so that is called alternate labeling so how to do that one? okay so you go here go to extras alternate labels over here so here it is a one okay so now i'll i'll want to just one minute not here structure environment here only alternate labels just that object info this is okay go to extras structure alternate labels over you okay now take it now take this one now you click on the button change change the label okay now it will allow to enter the new label this is the old label now i want to enter the new label so it, my new label is let's say this one toyota unit one unit one tr one now this functional location now let's say it's uh, replaced with a milling machine let's say mim c01 this is my new label okay continue done now continue now i want to change the description because it is changed i want to change the description okay so let's say it is horizontal milling machine let's say enter so see this is what called alternate labeling now if you go to your again your hierarchy now this cnc machine it will not show anymore if you go back go back again you refresh refresh 
expand hole see now that old shearing machine has gone now it is showing horizontal billing machine okay now if you want to do this alternate labeling in the configuration you need to allow the alternate labeling process so you go back in the configuration go to functional location okay here you see alternate labeling of functional location you go here here you need to activate alternate labeling in this system it is already activated that is why it is showing see already it is activated alternate labeling is active okay so that is why it is allowing to do the alternate labeling now this data whatever is there you can see it again in the display mode if you go functional location display what is my functional location this one mim mim c0 now if you go to this functional location you can see the change in data go to extras alternate label alternate labels over so this is a one okay now if you want a bit if you want to see the change log go to it extras oh, go to display changes here if you go here if you scroll to right here you can see old value was cnc shearing machine 120 done and our new value is horizontal machine. so here you can see the changes alternate labeling data you can change it yeah, you can see it over here okay so this is what called alternate labeling. that means after some period i want to replace my old functional location with a new functional location then you go for alternate labeling okay now after this we will see the reference functional location okay so what is reference functional location a reference functional location is a tool that helps you to enter and manage functional location okay it's like a template kind of thing dummy dummy functional location you can use a reference functional location when you have to create and manage several functional locations of same kind in the system okay so i want to create lot of functional location instead of creating each and everything one one after the other i'll create a dummy one template kind of one and with that i'll be creating lot of functional locations with copy kind of thing okay so you define and manage reference functional locations their own master records okay however they do not represent functional location they are not physically existing it is a template it is a template and are assigned to real functional locations as reference functional location basically this reference functional location will make your data entry easy it will save your time basically okay now we'll create a functional reference functional location and we'll see how to create a normal functional location by using reference functional location so this is how it works so you create reference function location okay and when you are creating a normal function location you copy from the reference function location so that is how you do okay so first you will create a template a dummy reference function location you create an entire hierarchy and then using this we will be creating a real function location okay so this is called reference function location okay so i'll create a new one create a reference functional location so the transaction is here if you go I, IL level IL level create reference functional location so first I will start creating it PLNT first one is a PLNT use the same same structure indicator I am using enter ok it's already existing now huh? ok we will do one thing we will create plant plet i will create plet okay i will create plet enter okay so this is the plant now if you see here for reference functional location only you will have only one tab not other tables other tabs are not there because this is a this is not physically existing it's a dummy kind of thing okay so now you enter the planning plant thousand planner group Enter, let's say mechanical engineer main work center this is the one we are using catalog profile as of now i'm entering the new one a standard one okay authorization group i'll maintain maintenance so i'm creating a template reference function location now save this 
one level one level has been created next levels i am creating next levels okay so next level will be plant next level will be unit i'll put it as ut1 okay enter unit 1 enter see from again the superior functional location all the data has come now save it next level i am creating that is the one called or i'll create unit 2 also first let me create unit 2 okay unit 2 okay now next level i'll create in the unit 1 and create pr only department of production enter save it now the next level i will create machine m a c h 01 okay machine number 1 machine number 1 i will create enter save it i will create one more machine okay i am creating one more now i am saving this okay now i will create one more uh, department kind of thing quality okay so i will create qltby qltby okay department of quality enter save okay now under that i have some testing machines i'll put tst01 okay testing equipment testing testing machine okay save it i'll create one more testing equipment testing machine okay save it <coughs> okay done right now i'll create one more department utility utly utly okay department of utility department of utility okay done i'm saving this okay now under this i'll create one more you under utility i'll create dg dc generator l01 okay let me put it as 150 kva diesel generator or 500 kva 500 kva DG. okay these are all the, is a, it's a template okay i will create one more which is called compressor c o m p 0 enter let's say 120 cmf cfm compressor okay whatever based on my this thing i'm creating it okay now i created a uh, uh, reference function location a demo one a template one now when i am creating a function location real function location i will use this reference function location and i will create all function locations at one shot at one shot okay so the transaction code is the transaction code is il04 okay so go to il04 create you go here create function location using a reference function location so here you click on the button use reference location okay so my reference location is what is my reference location pl pl80 okay this is my reference location and now i am creating a new location called uh, toyota ta toyota automobiles chennai unit i am creating let's see i am creating a chennai unit now you see what will happen Okay. all the reference function location will get copied to this new function location see all got copied okay wherever you want to change you can change the data this description you can change department of production machine number one machine number two all that you can change okay this is let's say 
testing machine one testing machine seven. Now when I save it, it will create all functional locations at one shot. This many functional locations will get created at one shot. So I am saving this. Now you see what message you will get on the down. Okay, it is asking now. Now you need to enter the plant. You need to enter the plant because your reference functional location is not plant specific, but your real functional location is a plant specific. So enter the plant. Enter the plant. Enter the location for all those things you can enter. EBC indicator I am entering. Now you see what what will happen. It will create around 12 functional locations at one shot. On the back end, all the functional locations are getting created. See what message you got? 12 functional locations created. That means at one shot, it is created 12 functional locations. This is how you do the mass creation of functional locations. Okay, using a template. So now, if you go to IL03 slash IL03, so this is the one. See, it got created. Location has come. Organization data got everything got copied. Okay, structure. It is a superior most functional location. That is why it's not as come. Now your reference location also getting displayed. By looking at this, you can tell that this location, functional location, is created by using this reference function location. Okay. Now you can go to change mode and wherever you want to change the data, you can change. Suppose I put the object type. Object type is not there. Reference authorization group and startup date. I'll enter. The moment I do it for the initial location, all the down level functional locations will get updated. Okay. So I'll go to the location, plan section. It's okay. Organization, okay. Business area, three thousand. Pass center. I left it. Now the moment I save, all the other down level functional locations will get updated. You will get a message that, okay. Structure, okay. This position is one, okay. That's okay. Enter. Now you see the moment I save, what will happen? Or description, Toyota. I'll change the description. Toyota automobiles. Limited Chennai. Okay, now I'm, when I'm saving this, you see what will happen. You will get a message that the remaining functional locations are updated. See, data copied to 11 functional locations. Okay, so all the down level functional locations also will get updated. If you want to check, you can check for the one. You go to the display mode. Next level, you try to check. What is the next level one? Unit one, UT one. See, it got updated. Authorization group got updated. Location got up. Everything updated. Organization, cost center, business area, all those things got updated to the down level functional locations. Okay. So this is how you create functional locations using a reference functional locations. Okay. Now the next one will be the copying a creating a new functional location. By using the existing functional location. Suppose let's say I am creating a new functional location. You create. I am creating a new functional location. I want to create, but this functional location structure is same as the one of the existing functional location. So that time you can do the copy function. That is also that option is also available in the system. Okay. So I'll create it while creating. I'll show you. So now let us go to our original one. This is the one. If you go here. Now, when I expand whole, I have created a structure for unit one. Okay. Now, unit two doesn't have any structure. Now, I want to. I will create a structure of unit two, same as unit one. That means same. All these will be same. If that is the case, then I can do the copy function. So here, I am creating a new functional location by using the existing functional location. That is what we are going to do. That is called copy functional location. So let's go to again IL zero one. Sorry, IL04 create. Okay. Now previously we used this use reference location. Now I will use copy reference. Okay. Click on this button. It will ask the existing functional location. So what was my existing functional location was? This is the one. T A U T U T one. So T A U T 
hyphen ut1 this entire function location structure i want to copy to ta ut unit 2 ut2 now you see what messages you will get as this functional location is already existing you will get a warning message that this functional location is already existing but the down level functional locations will get created okay so now let's click on continue what message you get functional location ta ut you need to already exist that means it is saying that both this functional location is already existing you need to because you already created but down level hierarchy it's not there now those will get created automatically continue okay one location ex already exist okay continue okay now you see under unit 2 everything will getting created now here 1 2 3 4 5 five functional locations will get created automatically okay and the unit 2 which is already present already there in the system it is grayed out you cannot change anything over here but remaining ones if you want to change the description you can change it okay now you save it the remaining one two three four five functional look five functional locations will get created automatically so save it or if you want to add anything over here new you can add that also over here if you want to do manually adding that also you can do now see five functional locations got created under the unit two now if you go to our entire structure if you go back now these those functional locations you can see under unit 2 so let's go back again execute now expand see under the unit 2 also now you have the same structure the same like unit 1 that means we are here we are creating functional locations at one shot okay so that is what copying a functional location from existing functional location to new functional location so here you have three options one is creating manual okay using il01 il01 now another one is by copying copying from reference functional location dummy functional location okay it's like a template now another one is copying from existing functional location there are three methods are there copying from existing functional location So both you can do. okay so in this manner you will be creating with using these three kinds of methods you will be creating the functional locations in the system okay so this is what now coming to the configuration part configuration part we we have the functional locations so now in the functional location if you go to display if you go to display you have these tabs right general tab location tab organization tab structure tab partner tab and the documents tab so these tabs you can configure as per your requirement okay so how to configure this i'll show you so let's go to the configuration go back now here uh, define category of functional location so first of all for you you need to go to the profile go to the technical object here you have set view profiles for technical objects if you go here okay so what are the view profiles available for functional locations so for functional locations you have this many profiles are there how many are there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 you have how many was uh, you have this many view profiles are there now for our equip for our functional location what view profile is used that we need to check first so let's go back once first you check the view profile assigned to no okay now if you go here our our uh, functional location is assigned with category which category m yeah. okay so that view profile is assigned to this category m yeah. so let's go to check go to check uh, define category of functional location so if you go here what is the category we are using m yeah. Yeah. technical system standard so you select this one go to details so here what is a view profile assigned just one minute okay so what is a view profile assigned here 
SFL. Okay, so this in this SFL profile, you will be setting all these tabs and everything. These tabs and everything. Okay, so I'll go back. My view profile is SFL. Go back again. You go to the uh, uh, set view profiles for technical objects. You go here. So if you go to the view profiles, what is the one you have? SFL for functional locations. SFL. So you take this one. If you go to the activity and layout views, so how many are there? Here you have general tab. This is the one. General tab, general tab, location tab. Okay. Now you organization tab. Okay. Structure tab. Okay. And then you have additional data one, which is partner. I'll show you that. And then additional data two. These are labeled with the uh, uh, what do you say description that because of that it is coming. So totally one, two, three, four, five, six tabs are there. So here six tabs. Okay. Now each tab is having some subscreens. If you go to general tab, how many subscreens it is having? One is general data, reference data, manufacturer data. It is having three sub tabs. So those are configured here. One, two, three. Okay. So if you go to zero zero five. 005 general data now the next one will be the reference data that is why it is assigned with 0010 based on that only it will come now additional data if you go additional data if you go icons and text views for additional data they maintain a description as partner that is why tab title they maintain as partner that is why here it is coming as partner okay now for the documents along with the description you are getting one symbol right that is because of this one. Because they maintain some icon. They maintain some icon here. Suppose if I remove these documents, now only icon will come. T tab title will not come here. I am saving this. I will show you that. I am saving this. Now you go. You go back. Now you see what will happen. See. Now only icon is coming. Description is not coming. Tab title is not coming. Because there I removed it. I will add it again documents enter you see it okay now you will get along with the icon you will get the documents description also again you go back again you go inside see now the documents is coming now basically you can configure the subscreens as per your requirement let's say now here you have one two three here. i want to have one more tab as a long text okay so if you go to our activity layout how many subscreens are there as of now how many are there? One, two, three are there. Now I'll activate one more subscreen. I want my long text 105. Now I'm activating one more subscreen in the general data tab. Okay. Now enter, save it. Okay. Now if you go to the uh, display function location, now you see what will happen. If you go to the down, see you got a long text over here. One more subscreen got added. Okay, and even you can add one more tab also if you require. Okay, if, if you want to add one more tab, you can add one more tab also instead of subscribe. Okay, I'll show you that. Let's go to here. I'll remove this here. Now, long text I want to add as a one more tab. So, what you need to do is click on the button new entry number. How many are there? I'll add one more additional data three. Enter add activate tab active. Now add the subscreen. Okay, it is a long text. Now select this. Go to icons and text views. Click on new entries. Add here additional data three. If you want to any icon, you can put icon or tab title long text. Enter. Okay, enter, enter. If you want any icon, you can put the icon also. You can select from the list okay. for text any icon is there text uh, okay let us put this this one this icon you will put okay so now we have one one more tab we added save it and now you see what will happen when i go to the functional location go to functional location change enter okay. now what happened we got one more tab long text Okay, and it, it has got an icon. This icon it is called. It's got. 
So like this, you can add tabs or you can remove the tabs as per the requirement. Okay. So this is how you configure your screens on the on the function locations. Okay. Now coming to the next configuration, I'll remove this. I'll remove this. I don't want this at, at this stage. I'll remove this. Okay. Now I'm saving this. Now the next one will be the field selection. Okay. Next one will be the define field selection for function location. So if you go here. Okay. Field selection for function location. Okay. Now if you go here. Input input. Now uh, for my, my functional location, I want to make my cost center as mandatory. Okay, cost center as mandatory. So you need to make it as required. Required means that will become a mandatory field. I want my ABC indicator also required field. So I am maintaining them as required. That means you have to enter the data. If you don't enter the data, system will not allow you to create. Okay, so this is how you make the I and one more thing, some fields, if you want to put it in this, uh, what do you say, uh, grayed out mode, then you have to put them in the display mode. Okay. Now, if you want to hide any field, I don't want one field to be displayed. Then you put it in the hide, hide mode. You select that field as hide mode. Now, I maintain this. Now, you see what will happen when I'm creating a new functional location. So, I'll create a new functional location. I'll create as, let's say, I'll create... What was our hierarchy? Under this, I will create unit 2. I will create one more, uh, 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 this one, functional location. T-A-U-T, unit 2, unit 2, production, sharing machine, I will create. That's not, sorry, I will go to change mode, create mode. Okay, when I am trying to create, now you see what will happen. Authorization group in displayed mode. Are you able to see? 120 CNC sharing machine 120. Okay. Now if you go to ABC indicator, if I if I remove the data, if I try to go, what's happening? This has become mandatory field. Fill in all required entry fields. So you have to enter the data in this field. Otherwise, system should will not allow you to go further. Okay. And we, we have made even cost center also mandatory field. Cost center. If I try to go to the structure, it is saying fill in all required interest fields. So cost center you need to enter. So like this, you can make some fields mandatory or some fields optional or some fields hide also by using this define field selection. Okay. So this is the configuration normally you do in the functional locations. Okay, so this is all about your functional locations. Okay, just one minute.